Saab, let me ask you, how's NILF 2016 been going so far? How's the experience been? Um, it's been very good, yes. Um, I think there's, a, there's an upbeat atmosphere. Uh, I think there's a real um, sense of uh, reality going on this year at NASCOM. I think people are really understanding the winds of change in the industry and what is happening and what it means to them a bit more. I think last year the theme was digital and I think it was still a little bit fuzzy. People's eyes were a bit starry around the concept. But I think there's a lot more realization as to where things are going and uh, what the role for India is in uh, developing the, the capabilities. Uh, speaking of the themes this year, a uh, key theme of course is disruption. Uh, if I could ask you to sum it all up, what does disruption mean to you? What does disruption mean to me? So, disruption is all about um, being unafraid and bold to maybe rip up a way that you were doing things in the past, maybe write off your legacy, so to speak, um, in order to do something new uh, that's going to ultimately net you your ultimate business outcomes. So sometimes it's a question of sacrificing or being cannibalistic over what you currently have um, to achieve what you want in the future. Uh, now there's a lot of talk around digital disruption and I just want to emphasize digital disruption is about a business model transformation, a business model disruption that is enabled by technology, that is enabled by capability and we shouldn't really confuse the two. Uh, so, uh, if I could ask you, uh, is there an industry or a sector you think that is that has been um, could I say untouched by disruption is probably vulnerable to an attack by disruption in the coming few years? That, that's been untouched, you're saying? Or? Yeah, is there, is there a sector in industry that is vulnerable to disruption now in the coming years? That's vulnerable to disruption, yes. So, uh, well, m many sectors are vulnerable to disruption. Uh, I think the energy sector is one uh, we've been looking at quite closely, particularly with the uh, Paris Accord recently, which is uh, putting new mandates on enterprises to change their carbon emissions, etc. So disruptions that are driven by regulations really force change and can force companies to do some things in very different ways. Um, other things you can look at is the, maybe the publishing industry which went from that radical shift from a paper to a digital model. That caused disruption um, because of the secular shift going on in that industry. It really did change the way they were doing things. Um, other industries um, where you see real shifts happening could include healthcare where the introduction of personalized medicine um, much stronger patient care data and things like that are really changing the game in, in ways that um, hadn't happened before. Uh, when robots will do all the work and we can all be on vacation, do you think that day is coming? Um, unfortunately, it's not coming just yet um, in, in, the, in the office environment. Uh, what robots are getting very good at is um, repetitive menial tasks that uh, can be um, mimicked into a piece of software, right? Um, so it can take off, take away certain workloads and make things a little easier for us and it can free up time to focus on other things but I think ultimately what's going to happen is um, because the introduction of robotics into the back office is essentially going to put greater pressure on us to be more creative, more design oriented uh, with the way we do our job. So if anything it, it's going to change the way we work but not displace the way we work. Uh, this robot certainly still hopes that he can one day take over the world, I think. Well, eventually we're all toast, but hopefully that's not for another like 50 to 100 years, right? <laughs> uh, if I could ask you one last thing, if you could sum up NILF 2016, this entire three-day experience, into one word, what would that one word be, sir? Uh, I'd say realistic. You okay, can you elaborate on that a bit? It's, uh, this is for NASCOM, right? If I could describe it in one word. Um, I think there's a feeling of reality here. I think the, there's a little softening in the industry and I think uh, the winds of change are, are blowing quite hard and I think there's a sense of uh, things need to be done, sacrifices need to be made um, to maybe there's a little pain before the next game and I think that's maybe pain before gain is the, is the phrase to use for uh, NASCOM 2016. All right, sir. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you.